Gentlemen, it is full on review time. You know, I don't do a whole lot of gun reviews, but I've actually been kind of excited for this one uh, because of the price, because of the caliber. This is the Ruger 5.7, stay tuned. So this Ruger 5.7, let me come around. This Ruger 5.7 is brought to us by a friend of the channel. Um, Flying Rich, who uh, um, Richard Hughes, who you've probably seen, you may have seen him hanging around. Um, he's a friend of the channel. This is his personal gun, and he's letting me borrow it to do this video for you guys. Um, because I haven't bought one. I may. I may. I just felt it. I haven't shot it. We will see. So here's what you get in the box. Uh, kind of cool to use a plastic liner instead of uh, foam. I, I guess it's all right. Brings whatever you can do to bring costs down. Like I don't want an expensive box. Just give me a nice gun for cheap. And, man, it feels good. Um, oh God, you guys are gonna murder me, but it feels in my little hands, remember I have pretty small hands. In my little hands, it feels better than the 5.7, simply because it looks like they have tapered the front section of this grip. Sorry, I'm way out of focus. They've tapered the front section of this grip, it kind of forward, um, so it feels, a little bit smaller in my hands than the than the 5.7 than the FN pistol. Um, it looks like it comes with three magazines, so three 20 rounders. And I have heard uh, they are not interchangeable with the 5.7, the FN 5.7 magazine. So the Ruger mags go in the Ruger, the FN mags go in the FN, and they're not compatible back and forth. That's just what I've been told. Um, all in all, though, it feels really good in the hand. Got a good trigger. Um, does have a thumb safety, which eh, I could lose the thumb safety personally. If they ever offered, if I were to buy one of these and they offered it without the thumb safety, I would probably do that. Um, but anyways, let's put some rounds in it. Um, Richard thankfully left me a, uh, a magazine full of ammo. So let's put some rounds in and do some shooting and see what we think of it. I haven't shot 5.7 in two years. It's been a long time. I don't own anything in 5.7, so I haven't shot it in a long time. So. Let's go do some shooting, see what we think. That's what we're shooting. SS197SR, 40 grain, Hornady DV Max. See how it does. 50 rounds. Whoa, and they go everywhere. Literally everywhere. <laughs> and the bugs are bad today. So, like I was saying, I haven't shot a 5.7, the caliber itself, um, and I guess the pistol, <laughs> in a really long time, in about uh, probably two years. So, let's see how this thing feels. Mag clicks in. Goes in a battery really nicely. Let's see what we can get on just your standard target. Talk about a muzzle blast. Has no recoil, but... God, it's got some blast out that muzzle. Very easy to control pistol. That's at 25. Uh, this thing is super, super soft shooting. Um, well, I like you would expect from a 5.7. In. Drop the slide. Uh, it is not ambidextrous, so that's something to notice. There's no slide release on this side. It's only a righty's gun. Uh, no, well, it does have ambidextrous safety, just not a slide release. So I guess you could just kind of uh, spring load it back in. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very, very soft shooting gun. The trigger resets pretty far. Uh, let's see if I could show you where it resets at. No, 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 no. Focus here, focus here. That's the reset point. It's pretty far out. I can absolutely stay on target with this really well though. Yeah, um, 
Shoots well. Let me load up some mags again. Give you guys a different angle of this thing. It's pretty cool. Let's do a little more shooting with the 5.7. I'm going to shoot right past you guys. Goes in. Yep, that's in. Chambers. Let's see what we got here. Let me uh, put you guys focused on the gun. <laughs> you don't want to see my face. It is exceptional soft shooting. Man, it's like so easy to stay on target with this caliber. Even at long range. It has very little muzzle rise. Do one more mag. Yeah, it chambers really nicely. Whew, the bugs are getting me out here on the floor today. I was gonna say it's pretty cool, but uh, it's starting to smoke. It's getting pretty hot. Um, I like it. I I really like it. I may have to get one. I never owned a 5.7, but I may have to buy one of these. It's pretty nice. So, all in all, what do I think? Um, for the money, I think this is the best way to get into this caliber. Really, honestly, I've shot 5.7s before. The pistols, not the caliber. Um, and they're okay. They're only have. A, They've always been really cool because of like Counter-Strike or video games, things like that, but I've never owned one because of the price point. Uh, they typically go for like uh, $1,000 plus, $1,500 new. Um, and they've never, they feel like toys. They have a plastic upper with steel inserts and a plastic lower. Um, I really like that this is, I don't know if this is aluminum or what, but the upper is metal, which is really nice. Uh, 20 round magazines. And the main thing is the price point. I've seen these as low, and this is still new to the market. I've seen them as low as like six fifty. Um, you could at one point buy an M9 Beretta for that price, and those are not. I would own this over something like that if I had to choose one, just because of the cool factor. Um, and plus, I already own a couple of M9s, so <laughs> you know, it kind of helps. Um, but all in all, yeah, this is a this is a win. I would say if you are on the fence about buying one. I really, really don't think you're going to be disappointed, other than this pin that is currently walking out. Huh, that might be a problem. There's a pin right here that is starting to walk out of the gun that I just put back in. Uh, I'm going to have to tell Richard about that and see how that does in the future, if that's a problem. Anyways, um, yeah, this is a win. Uh, if it ever comes down to 600 I think that's a good price. I think they marked it at 799 or 750 or something like that. 650 is not bad if you really have to have one. 600 would be really good. Um, and I don't see that being an issue in time. Um, but Ruger, I, I don't know if anybody at Ruger ever would even consider watching this video. But guys, this is awesome. Like, you, you did a really good job with this one. Um, keep on this. I think uh, I'd like to see some more in the way of this caliber. I don't know what barrel length is required to make 5.7, like, really potent. But a concealed carry gun is about that long and, you know, maybe 15 rounds of 5.7. Of it would be kind of cool in my mind. Nobody's ever done that before, so just an idea. Anyways, I hope you guys like this content. I, I don't do a lot of gun reviews, so this one's probably going to be kind of short. It's it, Reviewing guns isn't really my thing. Um, but uh, if you do like this, uh, hit the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends about me. Send this along to your Facebook group or to your, uh, your K watch party and make fun of me. Um, if you guys want to support me, I do have a Patreon in the link below. A dollar a month gets you on my Discord. On the Discord, uh, we I deal a lot with uh, with building. So on the Discord, you can ask questions. I will help you build your rifle or pistol or whatever you're working on because I've probably built a couple of them before. Um, so yeah, jump on the Discord, give me a dollar. And then jump on the Discord and I can help you with whatever you need. Um, you can also help decide future videos if you guys want to. Beyond that, I will uh, catch you guys on the next one. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.